Welcome auction goers to uh, Royalton, Vermont. Uh, we are really excited to present a fabulous collection of antiques from this home in our Labor Day sale, which is going to be on September 11th. That'll be the Saturday following Labor Day. This is the Joseph Fessenden House, built in 1800. Um, it was owned by a local merchant who had a store across the street many years back and ran a soft goods store. The owner of the home now is Richard McGovern, a very good friend and customer for some 50 years. He's owned this home for that span of time and has decorated it with fabulous antiques uh, from all over New Hampshire and Vermont. Richard's been a good friend, good customer, and attended a lot of our sales going back to the 70s and 80s. There's some spectacular things in this home. Richard, I'm hoping, will help us narrate this. He's quite a character. You're going to love him. He has an incredible knowledge, wealth of knowledge, of all the items in his collection. He is a uh, tremendous advocate for the state of Vermont and for all things old in the state of Vermont. So come with us through the home. We're going to introduce you to Richard. Uh, he's going to point out some of the things and a little bit of a background on how he acquired them. I think you're going to find it really fun and interesting. This is one of the last surviving great collections in the state of Vermont. Okay, we are tickled pink to have it coming up in our Labor Day sale, September 11th, session one. Session two will be later. Come on in. Hoping Richard's home here today. Oh, there he is. Now, good morning, gentlemen. How are you? How are you, Richard? Good to see good you, to see always. Richard McGovern, folks. Yes, it's a pleasure. So what did you want to know? I would love it if you could walk us through the home and talk about some of your collection and okay. where you might have acquired it, a little history behind it. Maybe a little history on the home. I understand it's for sale. It is for sale, okay. and it was a tavern built in 1802. The entire house is of the Tuscan order, which is a, a classical order of architecture okay. way back in the day, which really became, came into light in the 18th century when they were digging up all this stuff. No one ever knew what this was. But uh, the classical uh, excavations advised them what, what was going on. Can we come in? Yes. Great. Come on in. Most of these rugs, uh, uh, well, many of them I got from the, uh, the Smith auction people, uh, uh, wonderful people to work with. Uh, Thank the you. Family. Thank and, you. Thank but, you. well, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's easy to tell the truth is because you only have to remember one story. Yeah. And this is... Um, uh, 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 a rug from a, a, a Persian rug. Camel hair? Uh, a camel hair uh, with animals in it. Uh, just great colors. That's the whole thing about about rugs is there's three things. Color, color, color. That's all that really matters. <laughs> if it's worn, that's okay. An another thing I, I read when I was very young, uh, an Edgar Allan Poe story, there was a line which always stuck with me. And the line was, the soul of the apartment is in the carpet. So the carpet, or the, the, the Orient, the Asian rug, the Oriental rugs we call them today, they, that makes the room. You start with that because of that, that's your, that's your palette. That's boom, that's it, and then you, then you move on from there. You've got some great rugs. Well, uh, great rugs. And, and this is a great uh, story too. This is a, uh, again, this is the morning room. Uh, morning room because the sun comes up in, in this room in the morning and uh, and this rug, uh, uh, I didn't get from uh, the Smiths. I got this uh, when I lived in Hackensack, New Jersey. I, was, I didn't have a car. I was riding my bicycle. Is this up. the one on the side of the road you told me about? This was in, uh, on, the, on the side of the road to be thrown out as garbage. <laughs> and I said, it can't be. So I un undid it all. And there's a, a little wear here and there. But I thought, oh, my God, this is a, an 1870, a late century, century Harris, a Persian Harris. Fabulous. And uh, it's a great rug.